Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. Well, I've been working on my first e-bike kit all afternoon. Actually, I started this days ago. I got a battery pack connected and that works. I figured out the electronics. There were no instructions with this kit. Zero, nothing, nothing. So, after, I bought this months ago and I couldn't figure out the wiring. I finally figured out the wires on the bench and got the motor to spin on the bench. Now, the challenge has been all day trying to get the motor to line up. Um, the shaft that came with the kit to replace the longer shaft, it has a different thread, so I have no nuts. They should have included the nuts to fasten it but I couldn't use that so I have to use the original sprocket and shaft so I could use the nuts to attach the wheel that was one problem then I finally got the thing on and it wants to pull itself off the chain wants to skip off because the motor is at an angle to the sprocket no matter what I do so I'm going to experimentally try taking this all apart, flipping the mounting plate over, and try to mount the mounting plate on the inside, if I can even get that to work, inside of this. Because by the time I tighten this down here, I've put too much angular pressure outwards on the motor shaft, and it drops the chain. Other than that, I got everything working on the bench like I said I had to take off all the original chain and shifters and everything to use this sprocket again because the threads weren't the same so hopefully I'll get this together and then eventually find um, something that works so I can put my bike back together and have the pedal function but right now I would love to just have an e-bike and then go from there so I'm going to reverse this around and see what happens. Yeah, I'm just working on that, experimenting. I cannot reverse the mounting plate. The holes don't line up. Yeah, that isn't going to... The holes don't line up at all. None of them do. That's a problem. So it goes only. it only goes on one way. That way. Oh, I was hoping I had an easy solution because I can't get that chain to stay on. It won't mount this way at all. Why won't those line up? Oh. Yeah. Well, it was worth a try. There's only one way to put the mounting plate on. Huh. I was hoping I'd have an e-bike going, but it's already dark out. It's been a, a lot of hours trying to get, just, just trying to get this to work. Well, that wouldn't work anyway. Now we have the other extreme. Hmm. This sure would have been cool. Would be cool if I could figure out I cannot get that motor to line up with that sprocket for anything. Well, guys, I could not get that bike motor to fit my bicycle for anything. I tried and tried and tried for days. I couldn't get it to go. So I looked online and boom there was an e-bike for next to nothing i am so pleased i got what i call the cadillac of e-bikes this is made by lee iacocca around 97 to 2000 era um under the global ev company it's a 24 volt but from my understanding online it was designed by mercedes and built by ford and uh it is a beauty so, I am going to make some battery banks for this, because the reason I got it so cheap is the batteries are, um, the bike is 20 years old, 21 years old, and, but look how clean it is, so beautiful. But the batteries are expensive, and they just didn't want to deal with it, and neither do I. I'm going to put the original lead-acid batteries on the Bedini motor and try to restore them, Meanwhile, I am going to work on uh, battery packs, lithium-ion battery packs for this. So let's see how it goes. 
so the Chinese bike kit uh, is on the side burner because no matter what I try I cannot get that motor to line up with the rear hub nothing I can do without modifications and welding or manufacturing my own bracket so this bike is going to go in storage probably for the winter and I'm going to pull it out and dissect two whole bicycles in the spring and I'm going to make an electric car a four-wheeled electric car using bicycles so I will use those motors because then I'm going to be making my own framework and I'll be able to line it up the way I want the bicycles were made by the manufacturers the way they wanted to with angled framing and it's a bike it worked for them but for the e-bike motor the angled framing does not work with the bracket they give you I don't know what they were thinking when they made it that's my only complaint I'm not upset I uh, I knew this was gonna be a challenge going into it and again now I have two motors I have two of the same kit for really cheap that I will use for my electric car next year so this goes away here is the battery pack out of that bike that I just got really cool idea they had it has a built-in charger built into the battery pack it's really cool and it comes with a cord you plug it in here and plug it into the wall to charge it it's so awesome the idea they had carrying handle really really cool cooling vents for the charger circuit now I I started taking this apart and I took the I loosened the screws and I thought wait a minute video so this should come undone yes this comes undone somehow okay that tips up get that out of the way and here we have two 12 volt lead acid batteries there's a capacitor over here what is this about interesting there your contacts are here down over here well here and there's a capacitor on here that's interesting so I um, I'm going to check these out. I won't have room to show you the voltmeter, but I'm going to check these out and I'll tell you what we got for power in our batteries. Um, 0 0.57 volts. Not good at all for a lead acid battery. Let me see what this one says. Um, 0 0.25 <laughs> 0 0.25 volts. Very, very, very bad for a lead-acid battery. So these batteries, for all intents and purposes, are shot. One of the disadvantages of the e-bike that I have, one of the negative aspects of it, is if you leave the battery bank in it, even if you have the switch off, the controls still drain the battery to zero. Really bad idea. Really bad idea. I might wonder if that might have been intentional to sell more batteries. Anyway, I'm going to... Uh, What's that? that doesn't look so professional there I'm going to take these out see there's a fuse here and they're wired for 24 volts I'm going to remove these and I'm going to put them on a Bedini motor I am they're dated 6813 so these have been replaced not that long ago seven eight years ago I'm wondering if I can get these restored my theory is if they're not that old I'm wondering if the um, they haven't boiled off their electrolyte these are sealed lead acid batteries if they haven't boiled off the electrolyte then they might have the potential good thing I got this on video show myself that so I remember what I'm doing later if I ever put this back together they might have the possibility of potential of being restored if the electrolyte is not gone. I can put them on the Bedini motor and uh, try to restore these. We'll see what happens. It'll be interesting. I hope I can get them out. They look like they're going to be heavy. Yeah, I might have to tip these out. 
I'm gonna get the camera put aside and I'll bring these out. This is more of a challenge than I thought. I've got one out and it is heavy. That's half the weight of the bike. Oh, it's a Power Sonic. Power PS, Power Sonic. Was 14 amp hours. The standard original battery was 12. Not sure what this indentation is from. Can you see that? But I'm going to take this out and put it on the Bedini motor and see if I can get these to be restored. I might have to take this and work on it for a while. But uh, I'll take care of that off camera later on and see if I can get this out. There's a. There's screws from the handle grip that sort of press in, and I'm wondering if that's why the indentation can't be good for the battery to do that. I think these were oversized. The original were 12, and these are 14 amp hour. I, I just think they're a little bit oversized because I don't think they would have intended for you to have that jammed in so tight that it's going to dent the battery, and it's a hard thing getting them out. But I'll have to work on that because I don't want to wreck anything beating on it, pounding, or prying on it. So that's going to be a challenge. I'll get it. That'll be off video. Meanwhile, I have a lithium-ion battery workstation here. That's a whole separate video to come, uh, coming next, actually. I have a whole lithium-ion battery workstation where I am dismantling modem batteries and getting out the 18650s, which all seem to be very, very good. Um, this is all from um, battery hookup, these batteries, and they're all very, very good. I'm impressed with the quality of these batteries. By the way, uh, you go there and use the coupon code DIYTUBE in all caps, you get 5% off your purchase. This is the absolute cheapest place I've ever found for batteries, hands down. So, I am going to build a battery pack that will fit into the case of the original battery for the e-bike and get it on the road. So stay tuned for the next videos, the workstation, and hopefully assembling a functioning battery pack and getting my bike going. Well guys, please do like this video, leave a comment below, check out the link, save 5% on the already cheapest batteries you can find, and uh, I'll talk to you later. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. Exciting stuff going on.